The only thing for certain is that everything changes. The rate of change increases. If you want to hang on, you better speed up. That is the message of today. It could however be useful to remind everyone that our basic needs never change. The need to be seen and appreciated. It is the need to belong. The need for nearness and care, and for a little love. This is given only through slowness and human relations. In order to master changes, we have to recover slowness, reflection, and togetherness. There we will find renewal. Today we're embarking on a journey that takes us off the beaten path of hyperproductivity and into the magical realm of the unproductive. Buckle up and get ready to challenge the status quo as we explore the importance of embracing rest, leisure, and those deliciously unproductive moments. Let's flip the script, rewrite the narrative, and discover the true beauty of unproductivity in our busy, bustling lives. In a world that worships productivity like an all-consuming deity, it's easy to get caught up in the frenzy. We're told that every second must be filled with achievement, every minute must be optimized for progress, and every breath must be productive. But what if we pause and question this madness? What if we let go of the pressure to be constantly productive and find solace in the art of unproductivity? Ah, unproductivity, the art of doing nothing with purpose, of allowing our minds to wander and our souls to breathe. It's in these moments of sweet idleness that magic happens. We recharge our weary spirits, kindle the fires of creativity, and invite inspiration to dance in our minds. It's when we surrender to the quiet whispers of unproductivity that the world reveals its secrets, and we find the space to be truly alive. Unproductivity is the sanctuary where creativity thrives. When we step away from the constant frenzy of tasks and deadlines, our minds are free to wander through fields of imagination. It's during these stolen moments of unproductivity that we stumble upon brilliant ideas, unexpected connections, and the seeds of artistic expression. Embracing unproductivity allows us to tap into our inner artists and unleash our unique voices upon the world. But let me tell you a secret, my friends. Rest is not a sign of weakness, but a source of strength. It's in the moments of unproductivity when we embrace rest wholeheartedly that we nurture our mental and emotional well-being. We replenish our energy, find solace from the stresses of life, and emerge rejuvenated, ready to face the world with renewed vigor. In a hyperproductive world that measures worth by achievements, it's easy to lose sight of our true selves. But unproductivity is crucial to reclaiming our authenticity. When we give ourselves permission to slow down, to savor the moments, and to engage in activities simply for the joy that they bring, we reconnect with our core essence. We define success on our own terms, acknowledging that true fulfillment lies not in constant productivity, but in embracing our individuality and living life on our own unique rhythm. Pause for a moment and reflect on the relentless pressure to be constantly productive. We find ourselves trapped in a cycling of striving where the pursuit of success becomes an endless race with no finish line in sight. We're driven by the fear of falling behind, of not accomplishing enough, and the relentless need to prove our worth to ourselves and others. But amidst this constant hustle, we often overlook the toll that it takes on our well-being. We sacrifice rest, leisure, and the simple pleasures of life at the altar of productivity. We push ourselves to the brink of burnout, neglecting our physical, mental, social, and emotional needs in the relentless pursuit of achievement. It's time to challenge this fallacy, to step back and reassess our priorities. What if we allowed ourselves to find solace in the art of unproductivity? What if we embrace the beauty of moments when we deliberately choose to be unproductive? In these moments of unproductivity, we create a space to breathe, to reflect, and to simply be. We free ourselves from the chains of constant busyness and allow our minds to rest. It is in these moments of stillness that we gain clarity, perspective, and a renewed sense of purpose. Embracing unproductivity does not mean embracing laziness or complacency. Rather, it is a conscious decision to honor our need for rest, leisure, and self-care. It's about finding balance in our lives and recognizing that true productivity is not measured solely by the number of tasks we accomplish, but by the quality of our experiences, the depth of our connections, and the well-being of our souls. By allowing ourselves to be unproductive, we give ourselves permission to engage in activities purely for the joy they bring. It could be taking a leisurely stroll in nature, losing ourselves in a captivating book, 
or simply spending quality time with loved ones. These unproductive moments nourish our spirits, rejuvenate our souls, and bring us back to the essence of what it means to be human. So my friends, let's challenge the fallacy of constant hustle. Let's question the narrative that equates our worth with our productivity. Instead, let's find solace in the art of unproductivity, creating space for rest, reflection, and the simple joys that make life meaningful. Embracing unproductivity is not a sign of weakness, it's an act of self-love, a rebellion against a culture that values quantity over quality. In the pursuit of a more balanced and fulfilling life, let us remind ourselves that we are not machines driven by productivity alone. We are human beings. Let's reclaim our time, our well-being, and our right to savor the beauty of life in all its unproductive glory. Thank you for listening to Mindfully Stoic. Remember, if you want to be on the podcast, just comment below and we can talk about life, purpose, meaning, and whatever you'd like. If you gained any value out of this video, please like and subscribe.